We're going to take a look at the uh, software program called um, Film Convert, which emulates film stock uh, onto your existing video clips, um, which is available as a standalone application or plugins for a variety of video editors. In Film Convert, you can emulate 18 different types of uh, film stock for your footage. Okay, uh, once you uh, apply Film Convert to your film clip, uh, here it does provide a on-screen display. And from here you can actually choose your type of camera that you uh, use, which applies um, additional color information. In this case it's the uh, Canon C100, so we're going to select the camera. Uh, the brand, uh, camera type, uh, C100 of course, and the profile used, in this case it was Canon Log, which already applied a lot earlier. And uh, here, if you don't happen to have this particular camera profile downloaded, it gives you the chance to do so, uh, right here. You can also go look directly to their website where you can download a variety of camera packs for your different cameras um, to give more functionality to film convert and in my case I've got several from the GoPro Hero 3, Canon C100 and the Canon T3i. Once you get your type of camera picture profile downloaded and installed you can go ahead and use the film convert, convert as normal. Now it also gives you uh, a choice to do some color correction and levels within uh, this overlay. Uh, I usually don't like to use it and once I choose my camera I simply just come here and disconnect it. Uh, another thing I find um, previous versions of film convert they have this camera selection, used, they used to have it within the inspector, which I wish they would do because I find it a tad laggy at times and uh, don't really like it within um, the, the browser window, so uh, I wish they would actually put it back where it belongs almost. Okay, once you do that, um, you come down here and you can choose the type of film stock and they have uh, many to choose from and uh, I'm just going to use the one that I've kind of been using for a while. Here you can do some exposure adjustments. Uh, it is a tad bright or and or the temperature. It simply adds a little bit more red to warm it up or blue to um, go the opposite direction. Here we're going to lower the uh, exposure a little bit and usually using the default settings I find it's way too much uh, another thing here you can all it also uses the uh, op uh, OpenCL your GPU for processing you can choose CPU as well and uh, you can select the type of sensor used and it also affects the type of film grain it uses uh, from 8mm all the way to 35 full frame. And uh, if you use the 8mm, it, uh, it kind of uses a very large film grain. Uh, and then all the way to 35mm full frame uh, uses much finer film grain. Um, so depending on the type of look you're looking for, I'm just going to choose uh, Super 35. Uh, simply to coincide with the type of sensor in my C100. And probably, I usually find the settings too extreme, so I usually like to dial them down. Uh, and in this case, one of the first things I do is go to film grain, and I usually choose around 30 to 40 uh, percent. Of course, there are rare occasions where I may use uh, much more than that, so we're going to dial it down to right about here. And uh, the curve applied as well, I'm going to set this down.
just like so uh, then you can play around with the settings as needed I think they was set at a hundred will probably go actually a hundred should be pretty good and uh, now I'm going to show you probably the uh, before and after and uh, this is before film convert right here and then after it is applied